Hello friends, Jeff here with another Squadron Minute. I like to use Humbrol enamel. Humbrol enamel through the years, uh, I'm very familiar with it. It's a very good basic coat, especially when you're hand painting. Uh, if you have some stock art laying around, cut a couple pieces. It's the best platform to work on. So I'm going to scoop some of the, the thick out of the can and just place it on here. I'm going to have some thinner, the Squadron enamel thinner. The reason I put it on a paper, I don't like to dip my brush in the can. By scooping the thick out of the from the bottom of the can, it will give me a, a flat, a flat finish. When it dries up, I'm almost convinced that it's going to dry up flat. Also, make it as uh, liquid as possible. And sometimes I have to do uh, one or, or more layers on it. And since I already had a little bit of black on my card here, just going to mix the two. It's about a 50/50 mix, and then I'm just going to paint the whole seat belt. Again, the trick is to use a lot of thinner. So you get a good flow and an equal flow on the base coat. Scoop some of the thick of the bottom. Put it on a piece of car. Same thing with the white. Don't have to be much, just a little. Okay. Again, we have our cup of uh, thinner, an enamel thinner. And now we're just gonna highlight. We're gonna go over the webbing and the seat harnesses will make it lighter and create more depth every time. So first I'm gonna do a plain khaki drill. And afterwards I'm gonna add some layers with khaki drill mixed with white to make it light and to get like a depth effect. Keep your brush as moist as you can. The idea is that you make it very, very thin so the paint really lets some of the base go through. So you get already a see-through effect. To get one of these, go to our website at squadron.com. Jeffy here, signing off.